receive the legal complaint under your social security number and your driver license number. We have received a legal complaint to block your social security number immediately. So before we go ahead legally blocking your social security number. So kindly press 1 to connect to the officer. Social Security Administration, how may I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail to call this number, something about my Social Security and legal action proceedings. Or... Okay, so did you receive any reference number or was the recorded line? No, I didn't know. I didn't hear any number. Okay, sir. Can you please help me with your first name and your last name so I can pull up your file? My first name is Herp, H-E-R-P. Uh-huh. Last name is E's, E-A-S-E. E-A-S-E? Right, her P's. Now, can you please help me with the last four digit of your social security, sir? 1463. 1463, right? Yes. Now, sir, just give me a moment. I have to pull up your file. Just give me a moment and hold on for a second, okay? Okay. All right, thank you for holding the line. Are you there? Yes, yes. So, sir, I would like to tell you that this is an awareness call about your social security. This call is to inform you that we have received an order from the federal authorities to place a block on your social security number. What's that because mean? your social security has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas, Mr. Herb? Yes, yes, years ago, years ago. I used to work down years there. Ago? Yes, I worked on a coconut so, farm. I'm sorry? I worked on a coconut farm down there years ago, but this was like in the 80s. I worked on the farm down there. Oh, years ago, 80s, right? Yeah, 80s. Like years ago. Yeah, I, yeah, I worked on the coconut. They had this big thing come along and shake the trees, and it would knock the coconuts off. And they get bopped in the head. Oh, it wasn't good at all. So have you ever, so have you ever lost your personal identity in the state of Texas? No. Or do you no, share no, number? No. <clears throat> so sir, as I have told you that this is an awareness call. Okay, the thing you. is that, sir, the thing is that somebody else is using your personal information for their identity okay. and had committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Okay. Like we have found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas and the model of the vehicle is Toyota Corolla. Do you have any Toyota Corolla car? I got a Ford F-150, 4 by 4 Okay, you have what Ford, not Corolla, no, right? No Corolla, no Corolla, Ford, truck, it's a truck, pickup, pickup. Okay, it's, it's a truck, right? Got a shotgun in the back window. Okay, yeah. sir, the car which I am talking about, our sheriff investigation officer has investigated and they have found some blood on the dashboard oh. and a drug residue inside the car. Oh. Hence, after the investigation, we have found that the car was rented under your name and your social security number. Oh, I certainly didn't <laughs> rent it. What do I, I don't even need one. I got my Ford F-150. Okay, not a problem. What I'm saying is there is something illegal happening into your, under your name and your social. Okay. So, so are you what, aware of any kind of what are we gonna do about thing it? like that? I, I, what are we going to do about it? I don't sir, know what to do. Sir, our U.S. Marshal team uh -huh. has raided in the address. There is an address link with the title of the vehicle, sir. Okay. Okay? Our, you know, U.S. Marshal and team has raided on that address, but... Unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. Is the address but in New York? Sir, the address is 620 N100 AV Apartment, B. Houston, Texas. I'm, and I'm the not zip in Houston, is, Texas. I'm, I'm in Moravia, New York. Yeah, I understand, sir. I said before that there is something illegal running under your name and your social. There is someone else who is using your identity Okay. okay. Well, we better get him. And had committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Okay. Sir, unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence when our local sheriff has, you know, raided over there. Okay. But they have found something suspicious from that address. Mm -mm. It's a matter of drugs. They have recovered, sir, they have recovered 
17 pounds of cocaine. 17? And some documents. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Okay. And some documents from financial institutions, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, etc. Okay. And all this paperwork has your name on it. And oh. right now, your name is in under federal investigation in oh. the state of Texas. Uh -uh. With two criminal charges filed against your name. Against me? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. The first case which has been filed is drug trafficking. And the second is money laundering. Because thousands of dollars has been wired locally and internationally, which seems totally suspicious to us. Well, I didn't and right know it. I'm 70 years old. I'm not going to do any drug no, trafficking no, no. or money sir, laundering. Sir. I believe you are a pensioner, right? Yeah, I get social security. Not, you cannot do all this. But I have told you before, there is someone else who is doing many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas under your social security number. Okay? So, sir. Oh, it's somebody else. Okay. I would, I would like to tell you, okay. all the paperwork has your name on it. Yeah, you and right me. now, your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas well, with come? two criminal charges. Well, why sir, come it's my name? Why sir, because there is your social security number. That is why there is oh, your name. Okay. Okay? Thousand of dollars has been wired locally and internationally, which seems totally suspicious to us, sir. And as I've told you, your name is under federal investigation. So, sir, I would like to ask you that do you have any primary suspect who can all do all this? right now no don't you i'm sorry i don't do you i don't know who it could be so right now we don't know who is the real culprit well, neither do and I. so everything is under your name so there is uh, everything is under your name and we have to find out the real culprit okay so right now sir, right now we are running short of time and what was done under your name is totally against the law of u.s treasury so we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name against don't worry about name. it you know it's not me but you're going to sign an arrest warrant against me sir sir, sir. Huh? against your social security we have to file the arrest number. sir uh -huh. let me tell you okay. we have to suspend your social security right away okay. okay so sir in this regard we have also checked don't worry sir in this regard we have also checked your past records and we have found that your banking contains genuine records yep. and your social have no other complaints in the past. That is the only reason, sir, we have tried to reach you before you face any legal consequence. Okay? Okay. So, sir, do you understand whatever is running under your name and your social, what this call is all about? Do you understand that? I think so. I don't know. Okay. So somebody's using my social security <laughs> number. Or you, someone, right? someone is using. It's right. not you. It's not me. got lots of complaints like this. Like many of people are telling us, calling us, they are telling like they have been scammed. You know, oh, someone I else. I don't want to get scammed. Security. Oh, no. Okay. okay. So All right. We have called you. We have called you because, you know, to yeah, find yeah, the real yeah. culprit has used your personal information okay. toward this fraudulent activity. Okay. Okay? We have called you. The only reason to call you, to reach you before you face any legal consequence. Okay? okay. Well, should I go down to so, the sir, sheriff's office and give myself up? Or what should I do? No, no, no. Sir, this call is recorded by Cyber Source Cooperations of United States. By who? So I'm just going to ask you a... Sorry? I, I didn't hear who you said was recording it. Sir, this call is recorded by Cyber Source Cooperations of United States. Cyber okay? Source, never heard of them. Okay. Sir, I would like to ask you a question. Okay. You have to say yes or no because this call is recorded. Okay. If you agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold. Okay? Sir, as you have to find the real culprit, who has okay. used your personal information toward this fraudulent activities. Okay. Sir. What? If you, are you agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case. What do I have to do? Sir, we have to, sir, we have to transfer this call to our investigation officer. Okay. Our U.S. Marshal team. Okay. They will going to talk to you and okay. they will tell you.
how to get rid of this problem before yeah. okay. doing that i would like to ask you some general questions about your social okay okay yes so sir now right. can you please tell me what your zip code is one three one one eight all right and can you tell me the social security number which has been using by the fraudulent sir how many bank accounts you do you have under this social security one bank i use i only use one bank one bank yeah and what type of account do you have in the bank checking or savings i got a checking and the savings sir what is the name of the bank titty bank sorry sir titty bank can you please spell out the first one t-i-t-t-y p-a-n-k all right titty bank. okay and sir you told me that you have got two accounts like checking and savings also mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. And sir, how many credit card and debit card do you have under the social security? One. One credit card or debit card? It's all on one card. One credit? One credit, one debit. It's the same card. One credit and one debit, right? Yes. Just give me a moment, sir. Okay. And sir, yeah. before transferring the call, I would like to confirm that how much do you have in your checking and your saving account? I don't know. Probably seven hundred. I am not asking you the exact amount of results. Yeah, probably like, give me a rough idea. How much do you have in your checking? Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Seven hundred in checking? Yes. And what about savings? Probably thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred? Yes. Okay. Now, sir, what I'm going to do is, I'm okay. just going to transfer this call to our investigation officer. Okay. okay, they will gonna tell you how to get rid of this problem and they yeah. will give you the more information about it. Okay, okay, good. Okay, all right. So, thank you so much okay. and please be on hold for a while. Uh, I'm just gonna transfer well, this call. Okay, long, just okay, give me ahead. a moment. Yes, thank you so much. All right, yes, hi, hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much for holding line. This is Oliver Larson on the line from DEA. Okay, hello, anybody there? Mm -hmm. I'm here, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Hi, sir. Uh, do you have your case ID? You never gave me no one. Okay. Uh, just for the security region, before we proceed, can you please read me back the last four digits of your social, sir? 1463. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I believe the officer might have already explained to you each and every details regarding about the yeah, misuse of some, your yeah, information. Somebody rented a, a Toyota Corolla in Texas and they found blood and drug residue and they raided a house and found 17 pounds of cocaine yeah he told me all that and they used my social security number to rent a car for some reason but i don't know how they would have got it i don't know okay. Dude, i don't know so like do you have any suspects who might have used your information well you know i was thinking about that after after while i was waiting for you i i, I Cross-Eyed Mary down the street stops up here once in a while. And uh, I, I don't know if it would have been her or what. I don't know. Um, so you're not sure about Have you been experiencing any kind of suspicious activity that is going on with your bank accounts or your debit no, card? I don't, stuff no, like Cross-Eyed Mary doesn't have any of my banking information. I wouldn't give her that. I mean, she stops up and she has a cup of coffee and we... You know, okay. talk. All right, so as far as the documentations which I just received, it says that uh, your information was being used in some other uh, places, like in opening up, setting up some bank accounts. Yeah, that's what the other guy said. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you never happened to receive any kind of uh, like suspicious emails regarding about this banking fraud and all? No, no, I never got nothing. This is the first I heard of it. I, I don't know how it could have happened. I don't know. I mean, like I told the other fella, I used to work down in Texas back in the 80s. That's how long ago it was. I worked on a coconut farm down there, and this big machine thing would come along, shake the tree, and knock the coconuts off. And then he'd get bopped in the head with the coconuts, and then he got pick them up, put them in a wagon. Oh, it was a terrible job. But I rented a house while I had to run an apartment while I was down there. But that was in the eight. That was like 1980, 82. I haven't been down there since. I, I got hit in the head too much down there. 
so I came back here to New York. All right. I got a job as okay. a wingman, a wingman on a snowplow up here, but I'm retired now. Okay, you're retired now. Yeah, I'm okay. 70 okay. years old. I'm too old to do anything else. So you are by yourself or with your kids right now? I'm by myself. My you're by yourself. Yes. Okay, so like, uh, apart from this, uh, whatever the whatever the, the cases it might be, but do you happen to file any police report regarding about the loss of your documents or your I didn't your know anything was lost. Items? No, why would I file a police report? I didn't know anything was lost. Should I go down there now no. and report it, you think? Uh, as of now, what I can tell you is that you have to wait for the officers who will be officially visiting you tomorrow regarding about oh. this investigation. So you need to wait, you need to uh, sit relax, and then you have to wait for the officers to make you a call tomorrow. Okay. But hopefully I'll wait they for will them. be. Yeah, okay. you have to wait for that. All right, uh -huh. I'm just gonna, I'll just wait for them then, right? I'm all set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And. See, as right. of now, what I can tell you right now is that since we, for your safety and security reasons, we are so sorry to tell you this, but you have to go ahead and uh, suspend your social security number. So, if so you what's have, that mean? I get social uh, security. That's what I, I'm retired. I get social security. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is that okay. as of now, like, if you have any any kind of uh, bank account that you personally have been banking with, oh, yeah. if you I, have any... I, I told the other fellow I got a checking in the savings. Okay. So, like, do you have any anything to be taken here from all those bank accounts as of now, before anything happened with your social? Do you want me to go take it, you mean? I should t go down and take it out? Yes, yes, probably, yeah. Uh, suppose I so can. If you have anything to be taken here from any of your bank account, then before the suspension of your social security number, you have to go ahead and take care of it. Because uh, once your number gets suspended, you know what is going to happen. Even your bank account that has already been linked with your oh, social security so number. I can't, so, I can't afford to lose that money. I guess I'll so, take it out. Like how far? How far is it the bank away from you? Like if you have to go to the bank, take care of it. How long? How much time do you need? To oh, get it's done only with? it's only like five minutes away. I, this is a small town. Uh, it's not that it's far just, away. Okay. All right. So see, let me tell you. Uh, if you have to take care of anything from any of your bank account, you have to go down to your bank and withdraw the funds, and you have to save your money on the. Uh, do you have any wallet cards, wallet, uh, wallet electronic cards, where you can save your money? Because when it comes to I the... don't even know what that uh, is. I don't even know what that is. What's a wallet? I don't never heard of a wallet card, so I don't know. Uh, you will get an electronic cards from your local area, from like any of the grocery store. It might be whatever the store is that is available for you. They will have it for you. Um, they got wallet since... cards at the grocery store. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure they will have one, yeah. Oh, okay. So you have to get a wallet right. card and you have to safeguard your funds on the wallet card during the investigation because since this is directly been uh, related with the money laundering thing, so whenever the officers come down for the investigations, they might search over your place. Uh, search my place? It, I don't yeah, want them uh -huh. searching my place. They better have a search warrant. Yes, I hope they yes. have a search warrant. They uh, will have. Just they, not coming in here and searching. I gotta they will draw have. The line. The, I gotta draw the line somewhere. I'm sorry. I said I gotta draw the line somewhere. They better have a search warrant. They will definitely have a search warrant. Okay. Um, they will be coming down. Two, three officers will be coming down. I, I, I want to see the affidavit too that that it's filed under. Okay. Sure, so they have, will have provide. Them bring both. Have them bring both the warrant and the affidavit. So I know what's going on. I want to see what they said. Okay. For sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure. They will definitely go ahead and bring you each and every evidence, and then they, before they do anything, they will let you know each and everything regarding about that. Okay. Okay. So I, uh, if you ought to go down to your bank to take care of the funds, you can stay on the line okay. with me and right, want to take. You, I, I gotta put you on hold for a minute. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta pee before I go anywhere. 
I'm sorry. All right, all right. Take your time. Okay. All right. I'm, I'll just put the phone down. I'll be right back. Yes, yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, what am I? I gotta go to the bank, take my money out, right? That's... Uh, yes. Uh, do you have your any of your plastic cards, like a credit cards or your debit card and stuff like that? I got my debit card. And how about your credit card? Do you have one? Yeah. Oh God. All right, so you say it's just five minutes to wait, right? Your bank is just five minutes to wait, is what you say, right? Oh, yeah, five mm. is the most. Okay. All right, so when you go down to your bank, you have to withdraw whatever the funds that you would like to be taking care of. Um, for the documentation to be maintained over here, can you please let me know, like, what could be the approximate balance that you might have yeah, on your savings? Uh, and oh, your just, a minute, just, a, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Okay. Where's my okay. neighbor? Your neighbor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. so you're going to uh, are you going to drive or how you're going to manage yourself, sir? Well, yeah, I got to drive. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I want you to drive safe and I want you to carry one of your picture ID with you because whenever you try to get the wallet cards uh, they will be asking you to provide your valid picture ID uh, okay. without which you might not be able to have them one because why I'm asking you to do this is because uh, tomorrow when the investigation gets started at your place when, uh, oh, when, yeah. they, when they bring come the down. search warrant right mm -hmm. yes and also they uh, they will try to find if there is any cash hidden at your apartment or at your home because when it comes to money laundering, uh, when there is a huge amount of money, it turns out to be very sensitive sometimes. So yeah, well, they better reason. bring a warrant, that's all I got to say. Yeah, uh-huh. So you have to get a wallet card and you have to put the money on the wallet card and keep it with you, and which you need to provide those cards to the officers tomorrow okay. when they come down. All right, okay then, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. All right, Yeah. okay, thank you. All right. Okay. So you have to stay on the line with me oh. while you are going oh, I down to the we back. Oh, done. Oh. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Well, you I'm can... going out to the truck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So All right. once you are, once you are at the bank, just let me know. Okay. 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 All right. You can put me on the speaker phone and leave it as it is. All let right. me maintain some documents. Yeah, hello. Uh, my uh -huh. truck won't start. Oh, okay. So, what could be the reason your battery went off? Nah, it's, it's got plenty of battery. I don't know what it could be. He yeah, worked this morning. Oh. Well, you know, worked this morning fine. I, oh, I don't know what to do now. It's okay. You can take your time. See whatever the problems might be. Just, uh, well, just take it out. So. How the hell do I know what's wrong with it? Okay. Can you tell from this what's wrong with it? I don't know. No, uh, I literally don't know either. much about about the. You don't part. know much about scamming either, do you? You scamming bastard! <laughs> oh, you foolish fucker! I'm sorry.
Uh, what are you sorry for? Being a scam ambassador or being fucking stupid? Which one? No, you are the stupid one. No, no, no you have that completely ass backwards, scam ambassador. You bench -oed. What makes you think that? Can because... you give me one, one? Yeah, because reason? you're a thief and I've been on the phone with you for a half an hour and you're not going to make any money, you stupid fuck. Oh, I'm not trying to make any money, okay? I'm just giving you the information, what what you need to do, what needs to be taken to you before it is too late. I don't from have who? any problems with that. So like you're from the fucking social security. You're still playing with the scam, right? You, you still think I think you're from the social security. Huh? No, no, I'm not asking you to think that I'm from the sources, and I don't have anything to prove you that. And I don't, well, I don't have to prove, prove it anyway. You couldn't prove it yeah. if I hit you with a fucking baseball bat, you scamming fuck. Okay, so let's okay. do it this way. Okay, I'm let's gonna do it your way. This. Yeah, I'm gonna update this information, and we are gonna go ahead and suspend your social security yeah, number. Yeah, do that. Wait, and please. Then you'll see what's happened. Suspend next, okay? everything, and then I'll mm -hmm. see what happens. You scamming fuck. All what right, don't call. Stick. What a stupid don't, fuck stick you are! Don't call me a fucking stupid liar, okay? I'm not lying anything regarding about this. You are okay? lying, and you're a fucking thief, and I'll call you whatever I want. Oh, <laughs> hey, by the way, say hello oh, to YouTube. Come on. Say hello to YouTube, scammer. Say hello, YouTube. Oh, sure. I'm a thief. <laughs> you are a thief. No, I'm not a thief. You are. You are. Well, a thief. How the fuck am I a thief? I'm not trying to steal anything. You are. How the fuck am right. I a thief? Let me let me tell you one thing. You don't have to waste your time, or you don't have to waste my time. I have a lot of uh, different other citizens to be dealt with. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of other yeah, people yeah. to scam, right? You fucker, you I, motherfucker. I, I, you're a motherfucker. I got other people to scam. Go fuck yourself. Okay, you do the same. You do the same. I don't have to. You fuck yourself. <laughs> you scamming bastard. All right, thank you for that. Thank you for that. You're welcome, and don't forget to go fuck yourself, asshole.